All right, guys, we're going to do a quick K7000 flyback replacement. This is on the monitor chassis that is in the Neo Geo. It's in the garage. When I turned this thing on, uh, just to test it real quick to see if it did anything, I actually had sparks shooting out of the side of the flyback here, and you can actually see the burn marks there just above my finger um, where it was going. So it must have been doing that for a little while because the, there's more than just what a would have happened when I turned it on. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that flyback with one from um, arcadepartsandrepair.com. So this one has all red wires, so we're gonna make sure we match everything up there and get everything to where we need it to go here. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is start uh, desoldering this flyback here and uh, we'll get started. So here's the new flyback. It's the same part number here. And instead of the black wire and the red wire, in addition to the NO cup, everything's red. So this red wire that comes out of the bottom, this is the one that we desoldered. And this thicker wire here that comes out of the top, that was the one that we unclipped from the neck socket. So when you take it out of the box, I just like to make sure that the pins are all relatively straight and it's free of styrofoam so that looks pretty good be able to solder that in and we'll see if this drops in nicely we'll just solder it in but if not we'll uh, check out the method that arcade buffet uses um, from his video in which case what we're doing then is we are unscrewing this and then desoldering the Horizontal output transistor, there's just three things there, and that allows us to bend this back and, and drop the flyback into place. Let's... All right, so I've gone ahead and I started to desolder some of the solder points on the back of the flyback. I just use a, a solder bolt and my desoldering iron, so we heat it up. And there we go. That's about all I do, just kind of go around real quick and desolder everything and you may need to come back and hit some of the points if they didn't desolder well or not. Let's see if I can do this so you can actually see what's going on here. So you heat it up, put that on and then there we go. So those are all the solder points. Uh, I'll go back through and I'll double check everything and I'll pull out the flyback. So here's the flyback, and just so you're not fighting with it, um, on the back side of the K7000 flyback, there's these little tabs here. Just make sure that, you know, you're not fighting those. So you want to kind of push in on those as well. And we should be able to wiggle this thing free. There we go. And then there is that that flyback out from the chassis and this one was bad <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this let's see right there let's see if we can zoom in a little bit you guys see that little pinhole there right here there's a little little pinhole and uh, I that is where I saw some sparks coming out of and if we look here on the chassis see these burn marks in here that's where it was making contact so we'll we'll check these AC wires to make sure they're good too before we put the flyback in but that's how you remove the flyback from the chassis and there's a couple other spots that we need to um, release so let's go ahead and take a look at those so there are two more wires that we need to get rid of there is the red wire that comes off the bottom of the flyback and that red wire if we follow it is this right here so that goes right there and that is I think that goes to a, a ground so we'll we'll go ahead and we'll desolder that that's just soldered on to that pin so I think just a little bit of solder should take that off let's go ahead and do that We can get 
it in there. There we go. So there's that. And the next thing we need to do is release this black wire here. So this black wire that comes out of the flyback, that actually goes into the socket right here where it meets the, you know, the neck board. So we have to make sure we get this out. So, you know, just kind of be careful. This little tab should release. And that just kind of opens up like this. All right, so that opens up. And then you should just be able to pull out that black wire. And when you put your new one in, you'll just do the same thing and clip it down. Let's go ahead and put that new fly back in. So I started lining it up. I've got all the pins here. They're lining up. I clicked in this top one first, this little release here. And everything else looks like it's pretty well lined up. And so we'll just kind of go ahead and click that into place. And it was nice and easy. This one had nice straight pins, uh, so I did not need to undo that. So this actually went in uh, pretty easily. But uh, what an arcade buffet does is he unscrews this, desides this, and then he's allowed to uh, bend that yeah, heat sink and bracket back so that you've got more room to work. So let's go ahead and solder it in. So I'll solder a few of these in just so you guys can see how that all goes. I'm not going to do it all on camera. That's rather boring. But anyway, what I do when I'm soldering in a flyback is I kind of treat it like a uh, car wheel. Um, so I, you know, I do that star pattern so that I can, you know, make sure it's all nice and, and in place. So I'll do an end, and I'll come do the middle. I'll come do the opposite side. And then I'll go back and I'll fill in the rest. But I like to kind of alternate just to make sure it's in there in a nice even way. These plastic clips hold it in really well. But if it's a flyback that doesn't have those... Uh, maybe it might be a better method to uh, to doing that. That way it's stable and you can go through and solder everything else in without having to worry about it moving on yet. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and then we'll finish connecting the rest. Alright, so here we go. The flyback is all soldered in. So we'll flip it over. And let's see. Next thing to do is to address those two wires coming out of the flyback. So we've got the thin one and the thick one here coming out of the top of the flyback. So these two wires, the one that's out of the bottom, let me see if I can move my hand so you can see. Here's the thin one. All right. And that's the one that goes to that, gets soldered onto that pin. So what we'll do is probably, let's see, is there, there's a little bit of solder there. It should just be able to stick to that pin no problem and then here is the thick one that comes out of the top which goes into the neck so we'll clip this end right into the neck Let, let's do that that's easy so here we go here's the neck board and it will clips in right here we've got that little hinge the little door here so this just goes in Push that in, push that in all the way, it stops, that's in all the way, and then we just kind of go ahead and close this. And here we go. Let's give that a tug to make sure it's good. Yep, there we go. And then we just have to solder this onto the neck board. Like so. Let's see if we can do this easily. Let's, I don't know. Let's put some solder on. 
just to make my life easier. We'll put some solder down here as well. It's probably too much. I think that's too much. That is definitely too much. It just like ran down the side. Live and learn. We just need to... This is when like a little socket would be good. This has been replaced before, so... That would be... That would be why that this is like this. stick yes it did and it's on there if you guys can see that all right so there we go that's the k7000 flyback installed just to recap what we did real quick we desoldered the flyback on the back side here we did all the points and then we released these two clips here so that it would come free then afterwards we removed the two wires that were connected to the neck board and then we reinstalled everything we got lucky we didn't have to remove this heat sink here to install it everything dropped in quite nicely and then we reattached everything and there's that little door here on the side of the socket that swings open and after we reconnected everything we we're done we checked it and we are good to go the next step would be to install it back into your uh, cabinet or your monitor and give everything a good just trying to make sure it all works. All right, guys, take it easy, and thanks a lot, and hopefully this was useful for some of you. It's been a while since we've done something like this, so enjoy, and if you guys have any tips, as always, I love to hear them. All right, guys, take it easy, and uh, have a good night.